All right, let's get it on. All right, here we go. <sighs> Smashville, stage one. Oh. Flub Nair right off the bat leads to two Gordos. So the Gordo Master. Very good with his placement. Very good with uh, controlling the bounce. Stage position did get reversed slightly, but it looks like it's uh, neutralized itself again. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna assume that was a forward tilt. Uh, flubbed it foot. Nice uh, jab three. And uh, yeah, pretty even start out. Both players just feeling each other out, not going for anything too crazy. Keeping their punishes very light. Nice up air answer for the Gordo, kicks it away. Oh, Falcon able to get out of that. That run speed. Got him out of range in time. Oh, a little bit of misspacing by Danem. Doesn't get the knockback on the Goro that he wants. Takes a little bit of damage. Danem right back in his face, though. Gets the grab off. Nice spacing on the forward smash. Uh, but DDD is a heavy bastard, so he will not be dying anytime soon to that. Not from the middle of the stage. Danem starting to build a little bit of momentum, but a nice uh, down tilt buffer from Soot off the ledge get up. Clear some space for himself. Soot always likes to keep a certain amount of space. Oh, that I thought that spot dodge might have been a little early. Got him clipped at the end, but nope. Barely gets away from it. Oh, Soot putting out a laggy move right there with that down smash, trying to end the stock quickly. First stock here is going to be huge for both of these characters. Both these characters fa fall very fast and are very heavy. Uh, so they will survive very long. They both can make good use of rage, especially Falcon. Falcon is the rage master. Oh, Falcon going for a cheeky grab off of that jab too. Falcon kick catching the rollback. Nice back air spacing by Danem. Nods his head. Says, all right, let's milk this lead. There's a throw to the jab three. Starting to build on that extra credit. I was just gonna read this. Ooh, looks like another flubbed input, but no problem. Still has Falcon off the side. Good run in by Danem, punishing that jab too. Oh, forward smash just out of reach, but again, Falcon, you can see how heavy he is. Even with all that percent, still barely goes into the bubble. Danem not able to mash out of that, but still gets back to the ledge. Uh, Gordo kind of knocking him out of it. 205, finally dies. Soot can breathe a little bit of sigh of relief right there. Doesn't have to worry about that getting out of hand too much. Good down throw. Oh, footstool to there. Okay. Yeah, and there you see Soot moving back. He likes to just maintain that space that he likes. It's where he feels most comfortable. Oh, I like that setup. Almost cracked his shield right there, and that would have been the game, probably. Probably would have been able to fully charge a smash and kill him. Well, there you see the jankiness of Falcon's jab hitting behind him, and it probably shouldn't. Even though DDD is a big body. Okay, I respect Danam rolling through that to try and get stage positioning back. Good grab release. Goes for it all. Almost gets footstooled. Holy crap. Almost threw that game away right there. Danem should just uh, take it easy right now. He doesn't have to do anything crazy. He has the percent lead. He has the punish game advantage. He is the faster character. Yep, there you go. Just corner DDD. You're going to frame advantage him eventually. Nice jab three again. Yeah, sure.
Hello. Oh my forward smash. Was that just a raw forward smash? Yeah, he just turned around and just did it, and Dan M ledge hopped into it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Oh. All right, so I got uh, Avenger on the mic. What's up, man? Hello. Is oh. this your first time on the mic? Um, I did it at Gamer Expo, but I was just being stupid. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that was game one to Soot. Soot had uh, a lot of problems in that match. I honestly thought that he was going to go down 1-0, but not the forward smash read. Got the job done. Yeah, Dan's, Dan and Soot. Soot doesn't even like practice with us, but they improved so much. I don't even know where it came from. I think he's just, just a smart guy. Mm. Smart guy that loves the game. So we'll s okay, so Dan M with a little bit of a grin. So Soot switches to Villager. Oh. I guess Soot didn't like how close that game one was. Mm -hmm. So um, switching it up. I think for this match, Dan kind of has experience because he plays um, Timber. Mm -hmm. So he's not afraid to go in like that. He'll just run up and grab you. And I don't, I don't know. It's kind of hard for Villager to get off of him sometimes. Yeah, I, I think he probably should have went Sonic instead of Villager here, but we'll see. That's a double edge grab. Oh, oh and Dan M knew it. Almost got the spike. I don't think that would have killed, though, because Villager's recovery is really, really good, but... Still be good for the extra damage. Yeah, it would have been scary. Mm -hmm. I think I'm versing Korean next. Oh, Ooh, that's going to be tough. Yeah. You know that Charles is going to be uh, on point tonight because this is his last practice session really before uh, Genesis 3. So. Oh yeah, he's going to be gone. Yeah, he'll be gone for that. A couple of GSM guys are going too. Yeah, I know well, I know, I know. know Korean's going. I don't know if anyone else is going. I think, I think IDK will be there because he's going back to, to California. I, I saw that uh, Ian or Click, he was interested. He said he's going, but I'm, I don't know. All right, that's yeah. that's that's gonna be a great experience for Ian. We'll see if he does go. But yeah, right now Denim's doing all right. Again, pretty similar to how the DDD game started out. Uh, both players just feeling each other out really slowly. The yeah. punishes getting progressively more and more damaging. And uh, yeah, Let's see if uh, Danon can take the stock. Taking the first stock against Villager is so important. Oh, oh my gosh, the hard Ooh. read. Or he tried for it anyway. Yep, and uh, Soot wisely just rolling away because he knows that even if he challenges it, if he trades with it, he still loses. Ooh, Dragon Ball Z. Yep. Oh, <laughs> Tanem uh, got tricked a little bit by that Lloyd as it still exploded, even though he rolled back into it. Yeah, I don't really, I don't know. It still, still has like um, a lot of end lag when it, the gas runs out. It's pretty weird. Yeah, it kind of lingers like a Din's fire almost. Mm -hmm. It just like hangs around and then blows up. That's true. Oh, that would that would have been a good like. Nice. Oh, got him anyway. Good mix up right there. That's uh, the thing that you usually see Falcons go for on Smashville. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, just as effective. And he just happened to be facing the ledge. So now Soot's game plan will have to change to approach. Oh, nope. Captain's pretty heavy. Oh my oh. gosh, that was not really safe. Did he think that he would make it to the platform there? I don't understand what that was. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to go a little lower to mix up. But Maybe. Kind of went too high. Yeah, it was just one of those things that it seemed like a good idea at the time, I guess. Nice spacing by Soot. Doesn't get grabbed. Gets a little bit of extra credit. Oh, run right past the Lloyd. Oh, gets a little bit of a lead, excuse me. They're both on the last stock. I think when these guys do play friendlies, James kind of knows that the, um, the jab lock on the ledge, he knows how to like avoid it, so mm -hmm. he just has that kind of like practice. <gasps> oh. That was probably the best dare read that Dan M went for all match. Uh, very, very close to hitting. And that, it probably would have netted in the win. Dan backing off this time, that was smart. Nice forward tilt, a little bit of umbrella swing. A lot of rollbacks from Dan M. I think there's the grab. Cool. What were you going to say? Um, I don't know. It seems like James is kind of getting him in his head if he's like constantly backing off. He has, yeah. If he spaces it right, he can just punish him more and more. Cool. Okay, another 
grab. This is intense. Yeah, Dana needs to win this game. This is a uh, set point for so it... Oh, just the bowling ball. Nice. I wanted that strike. Yeah, again, like you said, Dan, I'm being very careful. Oh, very if, careful. I think if he sweet spotted that with the flick of the wrist, he would have killed him. Yes, if that had sweet spotted, that might have been dead. Yeah, Dan M doesn't need to go for anything too uh, falcony. He just needs to play solid. Is that it? Mm, no, just Game release this out. Oh, that was another grab, I think. Yeah, he backs off, respecting the. Oh, is that it? No, it was just pretty field. heavy. And battlefield. Yeah, battlefield too. Let's see. Not too much that Soot could do to him right now, other than like a sequence into an edge guard that could really hurt him. Mm -hmm. Even like an up air under the stage wouldn't really oh. hurt him that badly. I think. Uh oh. This could be. It. Oh. No. Oh, are you serious? Sheesh. Are you serious? You read that. And it it barely scooped him in. Snipped him. That's a heartbreaker.